You hearing that? That's the Devon Tread one. That's the sound it makes as it's ticking. It can be turned off. This is a very <laughs> interesting timepiece, which uh, I would say is outside of the normal watch industry. Um, it's assembled in California. The parts are not made from Geneva suppliers. They're made from aerospace industry people. I really like on the back there it says, I don't know if you can see that. Made in California. Devon is a company, it's a, uh, from Scott Devon, fashion designer, designed a motorcycle, a supercar that they made a few of, and uh, his watch brand uh, now has one piece, the Tread One, there will be more. And this is it, you know, I did a video of this watch as a prototype and it got a lot of views on YouTube, like well over a hundred thousand views. And people are fascinated by this and they love this thing. And I have to say, this thing looks pretty darn fantastic. And it's easy to read. I mean, it's 259 right now, you can tell very easily. There's sort of a metal plate that goes over these treads that sort of tells you what time it is and these treads are always moving. Now, they're moving on these little motors. They're called one-step motors. One-step motors mean they have one speed. It's just sort of on or off. So that noise you're hearing is the, is the motor going at one step and it's moving that tread the distance it takes to move, you know, one second um, on that little tread. Uh, and that's what you hear all the time. And you know, oh, look at that. See? Just changed to three o'clock. That was really cool. <laughs> I mean, this thing is fun to watch and, you know, it has this sort of skeletonized dial which is unlike anything you'll, you'll see in sort of normal orology where it's gears and things like that. You have motors and screws and plates. It's very cybernetic and robotic and futuristic and, and it's really, really neat. The watch is in steel and this crystal is, uh, I think it's a polycarbonate. It's not sapphire. Uh, sapphire would just be in this kind of shape would be really, really expensive. And while this is not a cheap watch, it's by no means a $100,000 watch. Uh, the back here is, as I understand, DLC to give it that sort of dark gray color, um, rubber strap, and the crown here is kind of more like a joystick. It doesn't really turn all the way around uh, like you'd think. You sort of, it goes one side and goes the other side to adjust the watch. And uh, to charge this thing, it has a battery. The battery lasts about two weeks. You, you sort of put it down on an induction charger so you don't have to stick something into it, and it charges. On the wrist, it's actually uh, comfortable. It's not, it, you know, it's not like this ungainly watch which is just sort of like bogging down your wrist. It's actually pretty cool. It's big, um, you know, and it looks, it looks pretty neat. It, it's a big watch but it's manageable, you know, and, and this thing gets a ton of attention. And one thing that I found which was interesting was this ticking noise is pretty loud, but it also draws people's sort of notice to it. So like, let's say you're in an elevator or something and Everyone, you know, nobody's saying anything and they just, they hear this noise and people are going to be like, what is that? And they're going to look at your wrist. You don't wear a watch like this unless you want someone to notice you. So here's what happens when you turn it off. You push down the crown for, I don't know, five seconds or something like that. And turning it off is also the way you're going to set it. So it does this little thing where it, everything moves. Look at that, that's really cool. Um, to a, a 12 o'clock position so you can set it. But it also stops the battery, kind of. So uh, I believe that's how it works. So it doesn't, you know, drain power. And also, if you're in a place where the ticking, you know, isn't okay, like a meeting, you just do that. See, it stopped. Um, and if you want to set it, you can use this thing. So I'm not gonna. Let's see here. Some way of doing it here. I gotta look at the instructions. This might just be the off mode. Setting it might be done a different way. Anyways, it's possible to set it. Um, it uses software in here. There, there, there isn't just motors. There's a, micro, there's a microprocessor in here which sort of controls everything. And what's interesting is if you buy one of these and there's future upgrades or things like that, you know, you can send it to Devon um, and they'll upgrade it for you. And their service center is in California. So how much does this crazy watch cost? It's $15,000, I believe, last time I checked. And um, how does that price compare? Well, in the scheme of luxury watches, it's not that crazy. Um, this watch is something entirely different. If you are into watches and you want something that's unique that isn't part of sort of the Swiss watch industry, this is a great thing to find. 
Uh, is it perfect for everyday wear? Probably not, but you wouldn't want to wear it for every single day. Um, I just love looking at that. Damn coolest thing ever. <laughs> it's just so great. Um, so again, this is the Devon Tread one. Fascinating watch. Very, very cool. The, as I understand, the Devon Tread 2 is going to be a little bit smaller and not include the seconds hand so that there isn't that noise and it's a little bit more uh, clean. But as a first piece, this is very, very cool. I was really, really happy to be able to check it out. Uh, you can see the full review on blog 2 readcom Thanks.